Hello, welcome to Voltage Drop. This is Josh. I mentioned in my previous video that I was going to talk about how to manipulate the dolphin within Blender. Uh, this is Blender. It is a free and open source software that you can download from the blender.org website. And this thing is a very robust program. It does quite a bit. Um, this is the standard window or the default window when you open up window uh, when you open up blender window what was i thinking um so what we want to do though is we want to open up our file and i want to open up the dolphin one dash version zero four curve blend that's that's the file that i downloaded from thingiverse and here it is <clears throat> When we look at this model, uh, we see something funny going on here, right? You can see that there's something inside the, the model, and it's almost like it's transparent, and there's something in there. Well, this here is called rigging, right here. And this rigging, this particular group of bones is called an armature. The dolphin armature. And so let's say you download this, this software, Blender, and you want to use this dolphin and you want to 3D print it. But you don't, you don't like the look of the dolphin and you want to manipulate it. You can take and you can download the file from Thingiverse, the, the blend, blend file or the Blender file from, from Thingiverse, and you can open it inside Blender and it'll open up just like it opened up for me. When you get in here though, you can use your mouse to, to kind of move around and the way that you navigate the, the screens in Blender is you use your, num your number pad or your numpad keys on your keyboard. If you're using a uh, laptop that doesn't have a number pad keyboard, there is a setting, but you'll have to go and watch another video on that. I won't get into it. But I can manipulate it relatively easily using the numpad. Now I personally like the side view because I can kind of see the shape of the dolphin from looking at it from the side and, and I can see that it kind of has this bent tail. Um, the one thing I am going to do though is I'm going to press the number 5 on the numpad key and that puts us in an orthoscopic view. And you can see the, see the difference between the orthoscopic view and the uh, perspective view. The perspective view kind of gives you a three-dimensional uh, look of the model where in orthoscopic it's basically just a flat image and since we're looking at it at the side we can't see the other fin but if we're perspective you can so uh, once we have our dolphin up on our screen we want to go into our right here where it says object And we want to, I just wanted to make sure that I was recording there. We want to go into pose mode. So like I said, the, the previous author or the previous artist that made this rigged it. And in rigging it, it creates a, pro, a pose mode within our object. So once we're in our pose mode, now we can start selecting these armature, armatures and start doing stuff with these. When we click on these ball ends, it takes us to the armature and allows us to pivot them around this fine crosshair right there. Um, and when we rotate them, watch what happens. Now I can get I can go really extreme with this. You see? And what basically is happening is the meshes that are associated with this model are attached to this this bone. And it will manipulate the the mesh as we manipulate that bone and we can rotate several of these um i actually i want to give it a tail whip you know we're, we we were discussing a tail whip in the last video on how dolphins kind of whip their tails when they um there we go we're going to zoom in a little bit there we go and we're going to give them just a little bit of a tail whip yeah, there we go. That's looking good. I think I'm going to make them a little more streamlined, too. Oh, uh, the way that I select these, I forgot to mention this. Use your right mouse button to select in Blender. So it's 
It's completely backwards of what everybody's used to. Now, as you can see, it's still all fairly symmetrical. We're centered. Well, depending on which way you're looking at the model. So if you're looking at a side view and you go to rotate that circle, it's going to rotate in the orientation of the side view. If we look at it from an angle or from a front view or a back view, let me rotate this. See what it does? It rotates that armature kind of differently. So we can actually get some really neat neat shapes going when we when we start to rotate the different armatures around different ways. Um, another way that you can do that is even if you were in the side view like this, you could hit the uh, the Y key when you select this, tap the Y key, and then that will allow you to rotate around the Y axis. So it's another way of doing it. I kind of like the look of this one, so um, we're going to export it into an STL. So when we go to export this, the first thing we need to do is we need to get this as an actual model. It's not a model right now. It's uh, I don't even know what they call it, but it's it's something different than a model. So we're going to want to go back into our object mode, and once we're in our object mode, we want to right click on the dolphin itself, and then we have to go to the object. And we have to go to convert to right here and we want to say mesh from curve slash meta surface text because we won't need to create a mesh and then once we have that done we can actually export this just like this as an STL we can go export STL and we can assign it uh, I'm gonna save it on my desktop I'm gonna call it dolphin 7 so we're going to replace uh, uh, another dolphin that I had done, and we're going to export it. Now, if this doesn't work for you, remember, object convert to mesh from curve slash meta surface text. You have to convert it back into a mesh. Um, because once it's rigged, it's not considered a mesh anymore. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure how that works, but I just know that you have to do that to get this to work. Now that we have it exported, we can go to our desktop, and we can find our Dolphin 7. There it is right there. And we can open that using MakerBot. This will take a minute because my computer is relatively slow. And, but I think you'll be able to see that. Oh, here we go. Come on. There it is. So there's our dolphin. There's our dolphin right there. Exactly as we exported it. Now there's one thing that I do want to mention. These... The bones, since we're working with a mesh, it creates a little triangles on the model. And you can actually see that here. Uh, and there is a way of smoothing that out within Blender. Uh, I don't want to go into that right now, but you can smooth these. Especially after, you, after you've created the mesh, you can, you can kind of smooth them out uh, and get rid of them. But uh, this, is, uh, this is how you do it. And then you can slice this thing and make it into a plastic model for whatever you, your heart desires. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this type of stuff, if you enjoyed watching uh, going, me going over this and how you can do this with Blender, or if you enjoy some of my other crazy videos, please subscribe. And uh, we're always open for uh, critiquing and comments, so... Absolutely. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, if you didn't like this, if you found things boring or, or whatever, go ahead and, and mention it in the comments. Thanks again for watching. Once again, this is Voltage Drop. Take care.